You know, under the world's eye, South Africa is known for its incredible achievements, and medical ones included. Yes, Chris Barnard's first heart transplant comes to mind, but with so many great achievements, sometimes some get left under the radar. So today I'm going to be showing you some of South Africa's other incredible medical firsts. Among some of South Africa's amazing medical innovations are the Lodox scanner, which is a full-body x-ray machine featured on the hit TV show Grey's Anatomy. The CAT scan was developed by a South African physicist, and the Smart Lock Safety Syringe is another local invention used all over the world. Dr. For a tiny country on the tip of Africa to be producing medical first is an incredible feat. But tell us about the lesser known cryoprobe. The cryoprobe was invented many years ago, developed at the uh, University of Witwatersrand, and it was initially developed for cataract surgery. A particular form of cataract surgery that was being done at that stage was called an intracapsular cataract extraction. And in that, the whole lens, as well as the surrounding membrane, was removed. And at that stage, the problem in cataract surgery was how to grab the lens and remove it from the eye without causing damage to surrounding structures. But the cryoprobe definitely changed all that and made it so much easier. And what was the response and how did the medical world receive it? Well, it became the standard of care in intercapsular cataract extractions and it became world famous. And it definitely facilitated intercapsular cataract extractions. So it's clear that the cryopro paved the way for eye care surgery. But I want to know how it was applied all those years ago and how it's still used today. And luckily, we've got a willing volunteer. A big thank you to Mr. Pig. Cataracts are the leading cause of visual loss in adults aged of 55 and older, and the leading cause of blindness worldwide. Corrective surgery is therefore fairly common. Doc, we know the history behind the cryopro, but can you show us how the procedure works? It was designed that you could put it onto the eye, the cryopro would freeze, it would then be firmly adhered to the lens, which you could then pull out of the eye. After that, more uses were developed for the cryo. One of the alternate uses of the cryo was to treat superficial tumors of the eye, like a superficial conjunctival tumor. And it was treated by freezing it and thawing it and freezing it and thawing it three times. And that had a large enough destructive effect to kill the tumors and the cells of the tumor. The third use was in retinal surgery, where you'd apply the cryo from outside the eye, which would then freeze the outside of the eye onto the retina. That would cause enough damage to induce scar tissue formation, which would then ad help adhering the retina to the back of the eye. Two icons who physically experienced the benefit of the cryoprobe were Margaret Thatcher and Nelson Mandela, who both had cataract surgery using the cryoprobe. Obviously the cryoprobe isn't used for this procedure as commonly as it once was, but what did it pave the way for in the eye care world? In retinal detachment surgery, the retina detaches from the wall of the eye, that's in the back of the eye, and to reattach it, you freeze the retina and the surrounding tissues by placing the cryo behind the eye, that causes destruction, scar formation, and the retina in that way reattaches itself and adheres itself to the back of the eye. Using the cryo in retinal surgery is most probably the most common use for the cryo today. If this was never invented, where would we be? Well, if it wasn't invented, the cataract operations would have been far more complicated, far more difficult, with far more complications and more loss of vision. So it really, at its time, it was quite groundbreaking. It really was a well-thought-out device which helped a lot and a lot of people. And now, as I've mentioned, it's been used more in retinal surgery, where it still has quite a significant role to play. Dr. Selig Percy Amelis received the 1975 Queen's Award for Technological Innovation for creating the cryoprobe as the technology became widely used. So the invention of the cryoprobe paved the way for better eye care surgery around the world. And one thing we can agree on is the South African pioneers behind the apparatus truly had vision in more ways than one. <laughs>